from birth, I have been a a, a very um uh, what you call that um, gifted person. I, I, I gifted in the sense that I have been a, a kid that grew up with a lot of love, mm-hmm. you know, and which is a good thing. Mm-hmm. Cause it, it made me, it, it, has, it has made me kind of smoother, you know, less harsh than a lot of other people, you know, because when you grow, I think when you grow up with love, mm-hmm. you have love to share. Mm-hmm. Yes. There's a more love within you, you know. A lot of kids are people that are out there that are very temperamental and harsh. It's maybe it's 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 a that's to do with a lot of their upbringing. Mm. You know, yes. if you if yeah you grow up in hard times, you're gonna be a, a harder person, harsh. Mm-hmm. You know. You know, and um, I'm really sorry for those kind of people too, because mm. um, we could have had a better world yeah. if it was all more love from the beginning. Mm. You know, mm-hmm. yeah, yes. I mean, we know Trenchtown as the hub of music and the birthplace of reggae music. So, how was, um, apart from your personal growing up there, the general let's say musical vibe in Trenchtown because I mean you learned guitar from two Rasta elders within your community right one, one. Yeah, one yeah. and you also met Barry there and Earl yeah, right yeah, too, uh, even though you've been rivals at the very beginning with the with the vocal trios but I mean so obviously you had the musical connections there was was music so to speak all over the place or how can I imagine the situation down there But generally um, Jamaicans are musical people you know generally and um, Trenchtown was no different you know we in the earlier days we hadn't had the exposure of much um, um what would it say um regular systems that would give us we we, we depended on the radio mm-hmm. that were our first um exposure to music mm-hmm. we had a, a, a little radio system called the rediffusion and um that's where we we got our um, musical content from and usually usually they would be playing more of um the American kind of music, you know, adapted music, because um, our early recordings was rare, local recordings, you know, you know, and I guess we, we were listening to the the, the the whole thing started from a thing called Mento to Calypso to Ska, you know, and um, and after that, then the development of the creation of um, rock steady to reggae and you know the, you know the, to dance all as they would call it yeah but um the music was always there and um the little sound system that they had the people because my mom used to keep some dances too okay. she used to love that she used to love the dance yeah you know so I can remember that uh, my mom used to keep some dances which I wasn't too I was so young that I I was a foodhead, you know, so I was I would always be waiting on the Sunday, you know, because the leftovers would be mine. <laughs> I said, up to today, I love curry goat. <laughs> I just love curry goat. Nice cooking curry goat, though, you know. If the food has no taste, I don't, it's not for me. Oh, okay. It has to be well done, you know, nice. Yeah, so after a Saturday night, Whatever was left over, I was always looking forward to the Sunday, you know, as a kid, you know. Oh, yes, you know, but my mom used to keep dancing. She had some female friends. I guess that was part of why she and my dad broke up, too. Mm-hmm. But Because my dad was more intellectual. Okay. Yeah? He wanted her to learn a trade. Actually, the last time I saw my dad, he, he never forget this. I, I, said, um, I said to him, Dad, I... I I explained to my mom, you know, um, I saw her just the other day before I came to you, and he said, oh, Mavis, oh, I took that woman to learn to learn um, sewing. Mm-hmm. 
You know, it still remembers clearly. <laughs> and I said it to her, she laughed. She said, oh, I can go on. You know, <laughs> yeah. You know, but he wanted her to be, you see, you know, more, you know, and, and, and that stand that she wanted, she was a more party going person. Mm -hmm. You see? Mm -hmm. She and her friends said, yeah, so it wouldn't work. Two different concepts, you know, yeah. it's, a, it's a clash between mentalities right there, yeah. you know. And um, I think she would have been much better off if she had gone his, his way, you know, because I, I know she was his first um, love in, this, in the sense of a child, having a child, uh, uh, you know, you know, so are having, you know, when two young people have their first kid and the father is really a, 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 a progressive person, mm -hmm. you know, the, 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 the unity could have been great if they were thinking alike, mm -hmm. you know, you know, um, it could have, could have grown. I, 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 my hope was that um, it would have been like that and grew to be, mm -hmm. you know, something really great together. Because every kid wants their parents to be together, yeah. you know. The separation um, breaks up a lot of um, mentality of kids, mm -hmm. you know. Sure. Yeah. So, um, yeah. But um, they 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 parted because of different mentalities, mm -hmm. you know. Uh, so that was that. But um, the music, like you you asked, was always there. People always loved the music back then, and and I. I met um, Toots when I was like about maybe 12 or so, mm -hmm. or 13, somewhere around there, and um, on, on a, a road call, um, um, West Road, that was what it's called, yeah, um, and um, he introduced himself to me, he said, I, I, I'm Toots, and I was really Pleased to meet this one of the first um, recording artists of the time, you know? Oh, yeah. Oh. So I remember, I, I could never forget that. That was the first artist I've ever met, you know, the, before I I got um, um, popular, you know, and then start meeting people. Yeah. yeah, my very first artist I met was Toots. So meeting Toots was a great thing, and um, even then, I didn't, I wasn't thinking of music for okay, myself, okay, okay. you know. Even though me and my mom, we used to sit, we used to um, sit on Sunday afternoons after mm -hmm. eating Sunday dinner, yeah. and um, we would sing a lot of duet songs, oh, okay. male and female duets. Uh -huh. oh. But I used to realize that I, the music came to me very easily, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. you know, because um, we're doing this, the harmonies was. I was just singing it, you know, mm -hmm. you know, w without no problem, you know, and enjoying this. I used to love Sunday evenings with me and my mom. And we are so both. She was a good singer too. Yes, we are both Aquarians. Yeah, actually, uh, a few years back, you know, in Canada, because she's in Canada, you know, I had a show downtown. And I introduced her, Whoa. you know, to okay. come on stage and sing one of those songs. Yeah. And it was good. It went on really good, you know. Wow. Yeah, we, 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 we sang one of them old duets that we used to do. And yeah. Oh, yeah. Actually, someone sent me a clip of that thing okay. recently, too, you know. Yeah, me and my mom on stage. She loved that. Yeah, she loved that. You know, so um, when we... we, we we in trench town right um we used to do that you know um so that 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 showed me that i i had the music in me but wasn't thinking because as a kid more time you're you're, you're not um thinking what you're gonna be you know what you want to be or nothing like that you're you're, you're living at that moment exactly you know and for the moment i can remember um that radio was playing you know my mom had a little shop right in front of our gate in Trenchtown, you know, in the lane, right at the, the front there. And I was on the pazer, pazer meaning outside the shop, mm -hmm. 
outside of the the, the, the shop itself on that walk mm -hmm. you know you, you had to step down to continue walking you know yeah and um i was there and this man i, I think um he was coaching her he was trying to um you know be her man or something because i used to see him a lot coming there oh, you know okay, you. right that's why I, I i was there as a kid just fooling around doing my own thing and the music was playing an instrumental song mm -hmm. foreign instrumental song and um subconsciously i was singing my own lyrics mm -hmm. my own melody to this song mm -hmm. this music being played in the background mm -hmm. and the man it touched him mm -hmm. he looked around he looked at me and he said but boy oh you know if you do that mm -hmm. you know and that sh that that shook me up too you know and i i said to myself I must be must have been doing something, you know, yeah, of interest. Yeah. yeah. You know? Yeah. I wasn't even thinking yeah. at the moment what I was doing, but I was doing it. Yeah. You know? Yeah. It's all of that what's inside of me coming out subconsciously, yeah. you know. You know, yeah, pouring out because um it's, it's like you 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 have this little drama it's full of water mm -hmm. and when it rains, you know, it's so full that it, it's it's overflowing. You know, yeah. I was yeah. Some of that, all of that, some of that was flowing. <laughs> yeah, from from a younger age. So, yeah. do you recall how old you were? Back then, uh, I was very young, uh, maybe eight or somewhere around there. You know, oh, yeah, goodness. seven, eight. Yeah, mm -hmm. very young. I I, I, I was. Um, I think I was going to Kingston Senior School then. Or, 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 I, I'm terrible with with um, with 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 with, um, with, with, with uh, years, you know. Yeah, I'm not good at pinpointing years, but um, I know I was, you know, thinking back. I know I, I was very young back then, and um, maybe. Yeah, maybe eight, nine, ten, within that, that age, you know. Um, yeah, but I was very good. I was very, you know, good with my hands too. I had imagination galore. I could, um, my, my dad, my, my dad, right? When I, when I, sometimes it, it took me for a few months to, you know, when they, they, they had me like a, um, like a swinging door, mm -hmm. <laughs> back and forth, you know? Yeah, my mom would have me sometimes, my dad would come and get me when they were ready, because I was the firstborn for both of them, you know? Right, so, one, 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 other, one moment, one of the moments when I was with my dad, he, he, he would, um, he had a grocery shop now, a, a shop that sold almost everything. Mm -hmm. He called it Bright Beam Grain Store. Wow. You know, you took over that name from him. Yes, that's why I, I continue that name as for the, for, the, for the musical label, definitely. Yeah. So, um, he, so he had a lot of um, different, different single individual females mm -hmm. come and work the the the, 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 the place. Mm -hmm. Like I can remember at least three or four different people that came and went. So one at a time. He realized that I was capable, mm -hmm. so he had me, mm -hmm. like, and he was teaching me to, you know, while I was there, mm -hmm. I wasn't going to school at that moment, but he was teaching me mm -hmm. all my lessons, mm -hmm. you know. It took an half a day to teach me to read a a a a a, 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 a clock with with with, with, with um. With, with hands, you know, with, you know, what you call it, um, not a digital clock, mm -hmm. you know, uh, one of those, um, yeah. yeah, you know, which a lot of people today don't know can do that. Yeah. They they depend on digital to even tell the time, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I learned that early, you know, half a day, <laughs> yeah, you know, 
you know, with, with, the, with the minute hand and, and the second hand, yeah, you know, our hand and the minute and the second hand. A lot of people, don't, a lot of kids today don't know nothing about that, you know. Yeah, so um, he had me running the store. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because he realized that I was capable enough. And normally, I, and, and he's a very, um, he's a person like this. He, he's very strict. So if if I if he didn't see that I could do it, he wouldn't he wouldn't have even you know mentioned that. Mm -hmm. So that was part of the whole thing. He um, he got me in there for I spent maybe a two or three months or more maybe more or less, you know. And um, so that's how I, I my only friend was comic books, which enhanced my intelligence a lot believe that yes I lift my hand to marvel <laughs> oh yes oh yeah and I rate those people too because they weren't just telling a lot of bull they, they try to get their facts in there you know yeah I can remember I, I went to the moon long before NASA did because of Marvel oh yeah yeah oh yeah Marvel comics yeah, man. They, they enhance my, my reading ability mm -hmm. and my mental, you know, ability. Yeah. But so reading a lot, being capable of, of working in your dad's business, and still somehow you pursued the musical path in your life, yeah, right? Long after, when I grew up. Yeah. <laughs> when, I, when, I was, when I became a teenager now. Yes. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but all of these things I'm telling you was before being a teenager. At a, at a younger age. Yes, a younger age. Uh -huh. I wasn't even a teenager when I was running that store. Wow. wow. I, okay. I, I got so good that if somebody come and said, um, quarter pound of saltfish, mm -hmm. I got so good that I would put a big piece of fish on there and just chop, bam, I put it on the scale, quarter pound, yes. <laughs> you know, so that's, that's how they, 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 the bind. Yeah gets you know yeah in coordination with everything that you do wow. that, that's when i realized that yeah they i i, I they used to use a scoop and um and the, the flour was there in a bag mm -hmm. and the, the sugar yeah. and and they use paper bags mm -hmm. and they said um half pound of sugar and i don't scoop it up put it in there and drop it half a pound <laughs> I mean, that don't happen every time, you know, but right. lots so of times. Yeah, yeah, exact bang on it. I said, my God, because you, 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 after a while, you kind of learn the, the volume yeah. that takes yeah. to, to do these yeah. things, too, you know, yeah. mentally it just locks in. Yeah, so I was doing all these things and I, it was marvelous to me, yeah. you know, doing all these little things. Yes. I. They were, like I was saying, but the, the, the comics, I couldn't even go and buy them myself. That's how strict my dad was. Okay. You know, I had to have a little friend, mm -hmm. you know, a little boy out there that was my friend, and um, I would give him money to go buy comics for me and stuff. So if I had... Thank you. Oh, my God. How could you do this? Oh, no. A black man, too. <laughs> yes. Yeah. That was a special man going on. It, it hit me. <laughs> yeah. Look how the place big. And all the way I come and give you a yeah. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> yes. All right. So um yeah, so if I had all those comics now, I could have been rich. Yeah. You know? Yeah, okay. Don't make it a habit now. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, take it easy, please. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, so, um, yeah, because comic books after, for the age, because yeah. we are talking like over 50 odd years now or more. Right. Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they have cost. I, I, I have seen books, goes, uh, um, comic books being sold for $50,000. Yeah, yeah. And I imagine you had taken care of them really uh, well, uh, right? No, if I did, no, I lost yeah. all of them. No, oh. I didn't. So that was a big loss for me. Oh. I had all of those original editions. Yeah. But these are, these, these are the things that weren't taught to us, hmm. you know? 
yeah you know these are the things that were missing from our teachings mm. to preserve mm. Preservation. yes mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. to preserve yeah so that's how we lose out on a lot of things you know foreigners learn these things to preserve mm -hmm. yes oh yeah yeah we, we weren't taught that you know because if I did I, I I could have achieved from that you know that that was a part of my loss mm -hmm. you know because um I wasn't um educated in that area mm -hmm. you know or guided mm 